What is your, I know it sounds weird, but just try it thing. Use dry sheets to get dead bugs and tar off of your car's paint. Just dip it in the wash bucket, and scrub away then rinse thoroughly. No, it will not scratch the paint. Source, I'm a professional detailer. Putting packets of chips slash crisps in the freezer. I don't know how to explain it, but it just gives them an extra kick. Pepper your ketchup after you put it on your food, especially when eating eggs. It is life changing. I got that advice from a previous Ascredit thread and though, what's the harm in trying? I haven't gone back since. Sitting down in the shower. I do that when I know I'll be crying for more than 15 minutes. When I was younger, my mom used to serve us taquitas with apple sauce to dip them in. I was told when I was older that it wasn't a thing. Oh but it is. Get a ping pong ball. Cut it in half. Buy a red light bulb. Find a YouTube video of straight white noise. Tape each half of the ping pong ball to your eyes and shine the red light over you. Lie down with headphones listening to the white noise. Sit for 30 to 60 minutes. You'll start hallucinating. Dungeons and Dragons or any other tabletop role playing game. They sound weird and goofy, but it is honestly one of the most entertaining things you can do with a group of people when you find the right group. Peanut butter on pancakes. Still douse them in maple syrup, but poke holes in them so that the syrup can still soak into them. Isolation tank. It's satsiki on your burger at Harvey's. Close D captions. All the time. No matter what you're watching, you get used to it pretty quickly, and it's kind of amazing how much you miss without it. After you get where you're going, yeah take off your shoes and socks, then yeah walk around on the rug barefoot, and make fists with your toes. Put the potato chips in your sandwich. Mix cream cheese with sweet chili sauce for a really nice dip for kettle crisps or nachos. Make a s'more with Oreos instead of graham crackers. Three times the chocolate and way more deliciousness. Neaty pot. If you have a cold or get frequent sinus infections this will change your life. It does feel weird to pour water into your nostril and even weird w slash it draining out the other nostril. But it provides amazing relief. I think it helps cut down on the duration of my symptoms. But that may not actually be the case. Squatty potty. Cheap tequila and a W root beer. It's the only way I'll drink tequila. It doesn't sound so weird as much as it looks gross when you make it. But graham crackers crushed up with a little extra sugar and milk to make some mush is amazing. Tea with maple syrup. So good. Listening to other people's opinions and not needing to respond negatively. Cheese with ginger snaps. Weird combo, but very tasty. Oral sex. It's sort of 50 over 50 on if people will like it, but when you're making out, lick their ear hole. An ex did this to me once, and it was incredibly erotic, and she loved it too. But I've also noticed others, like my grandpa or aunts, don't like it s and slap me away. So try it and see. But note their reaction. Edit. No I did not get hearing aids. I feel like a lot of people don't know about fried pickles. Make ramen noodles. Drain most of the broth add seasoning packet and soy sauce to taste. Then a scoop of peanut butter with some sriracha. And you've got budget Thai peanut noodles. Top with a fried egg for a bachelor feast. Pickle backs. When you take a shot of whiskey or um quickly take a shot of pickle juice as chaser and the burn instantly goes away. Chocolate chip zucchini bread. So good. Peanut butter and honey sandwich. IDK if this actually is weird but everyone in my family thinks so, and refuses to try it. It's delicious. I haven't had it, since I was a kid, at my friend's house. Her family was LDS, and they stocked up on non-perishable food. Anyway, peanut butter and honey were mixed together in jars, and they said it would never go stale. Edit. Grandma. Putting butter on toasted pop tarts. Ice cream with french fries. Just dip the fried ice cream like ketchup, and yum! Exclamation mark. Perfect combo of sweet and salty, and hot and cold. A bidet. The ones that are a separate fixture are weird, but ones directly attached to the toilet are just fantastic. Cheap and easy to install too. Peanut butter and maple syrup on your waffles. 
They'll taste delicious and stick to your ribs for the next 3 days. For parents, coconut oil as baby bum cream. I've used it from day 1 and my toddler has never had a nappy, diaper, rash. Not one. I have another weird use for coconut oil. It changed my world. Going into the wilderness alone. 1. With plenty of supplies. 2. People who know where you are and informed of your goal. 3. Understanding of where to go otherwise. If an emergency occurs. 4. Bear spray. This will actually keep almost any North American carnivore at distance. Then. Stay there for a week. Just you and nature. And all the continual tasks of being alive and such. After 6 hours you'll start to notice the woods for the trees. After night falls. The lack of sounds that comfort you. After a week. You'll recognize what's valued most. As Matty real things go. After a month. You'll recognize what's valued most. As emotional things go. If you do this for a year. You are conceptually uncovering. What all your ideas mean. Apart from the society that created them. From actual ground up. Always stay safe. Use mayo on the outside of your grilled cheese instead of butter. Comes out crispier with no difference in taste. Jalapia flavored kettle chips and Greek yogurt. Delish. Sorry my English is so suck. I sandwich grape and almond. Put almond. Up put grape. Up at put almond too. When I eat it's feel like pizza. So the sandwich is like. Almond. Grape. Almond. Honey on a ham pizza. I saw a Japanese woman do it every time she ordered a pizza. So I had to try it myself. I think she's onto something. It's a great combo. I grew up working a produce farm. Fresh corn on the cob. Just husk it and go to town. So much more juicy and taste like corn flakes to be honest. It was breakfast for a good amount of days. Peanut butter on burgers. So damn tasty. When you have the hiccups. Drink a full glass of water with your ears plugged. Either have a friend hold your ears or drink with a straw. I've never had it not get rid of my hiccups. Graham crackers and frosting. I take no credit for this as I overheard a guy and his gf arguing in a grocer aisle because they couldn't find the crackers and he blurted out he needs the crackers to eat the frosting with. All I could do was to say out loud from the next aisle over that ducking brilliant apostrophe. His gf was not amused. This isn't as strange as some of the suggestions here, but I would definitely recommend playing a role playing game like Dungeons and Dragons. A lot of people are very reluctant to try because they think it's just for nerds or kids, which is a shame, because I really think there's something for everyone to be found in Rala playing. People who like to be the comedian in their friend group get endless amounts of easy material to riff off of. Charismatic types end up being some of the best players when it comes to playing a character. Introverted individuals get a structured way of interacting with friends. You know when the session starts and ends. No pressure to be making conversation. ETC. Math Y types get to treat everything from encounters to making a character as a puzzle to solve. And romantics get a chance to engage in communal storytelling. Grape soda and rye whiskey. It's called Uptown. And it's delicious. Tastes like I imagine a flaming mo wood. A sandwich made of Pringles and the spreadable cheese you get in cheese and crackers. Stack up as many Pringles as you want with that stuff between. Heaven. Or maybe I'm just weird. BBQ chicken pizza is incredibly underrated. It is by far the best pizza and many people have never even heard of it. Men using nail polish. Not the black goth the lawn kind. I use clear nail strength and lacquer and I love it. Makes me feel complete and put together. Women notice when you have carefully manicured nails and attractive hands. This is like that on steroids. Getting a medium cup of soda at McDonald's. 7 seconds of Sprite. 3 seconds of Mountain Blast Powerade. 3 seconds of Orange High C. Can't believe this hasn't been mentioned yet. Slash R slash show error range. Refrigerate an orange overnight. Eat it in the shower the next morning. Rip into it with your teeth. Go primal on that shit. So refreshing. Almost as spiritual as my first time taking shrooms. Strawberry is dipped in sour cream and then brown sugar. Sounds nasty but it is so good. Especially as a treat in the summer. Also milk, bananas, strawberries, and brown sugar. Egg on pizza. 
so good, exclamation mark. I get way too much shit for this from my friends and family, but salt on watermelon. Please subscribe and leave a like, if you enjoyed this video, and if you want to see more of Reddit Universe.